Que sera, sera. Whatever will be, will be. So I suggest, don't worry. Pour yourself a great glass of sera and be happy. Sira is a grape variety grows all over the world, including India. But the historic cradle of some of the most benchmark Sira styles comes from the Rhone Valley, which is a classic wine producing region of France. So the Rhone Valley is divided into the Northern Rhone and the Southern Rhone. The Northern Rhone, most of the vineyards that are situated in this appellation grow either on steep slopes or at the foothills of slopes where there are some stunning Syrahs that come out of here. Some of the world's best and the most expensive Syrahs come from the Northern Rhone region and you may have heard of appellations like Cotro D or Hermitage which make Syrah in very very tiny quantities selling at astronomical prices. So for a wine lover like you and me who's looking to grab a great bottle of good value Syrah and is keen on Rhone Valley, where does one look? Look at the Crows Hermitage region, which is a relatively larger appellation as compared to the other tinier appellations and makes equally stunning Syrah wines. These are wines with much softer edges and are made in styles that are more designed for early drinking uh, with lovely luscious fruit to enjoy and lifted aromatics. The wine I am trying today is the Le Maisonnier Crows Hermitage by M. Chaboutier. M. Chaputier is the undisputed king of the Rhone Valley and among the best producers of wines in France. Over the years, they've garnered tremendous accolades and praise around the world for their wonderful wines. And this particular wine, the Crows Hermitage, is 100% Syrah. The Crows Hermitage by M. Chaputier is made from organically grown grapes, so they do not use any herbicides, any pesticides. Uh, they actually don't even do any fining or filtration on their wines. This is with the intent of keeping the purity of the fruit and the lifted aromatics totally undisturbed. And what is very fascinating about this bottle is M. Chaputier is among the first producers in the world to introduce braille system on their labels, which means that there is a braille transcription and this is more for the visually challenged. So even somebody who cannot see is able to feel the label and is able to read information about the wines. Isn't that wonderful? Let's try this wine and see what we think. Even as I pour it, I can see that this is a lovely dark cherry uh, colored wine and uh, it's, it's a 2016 vintage, so it's been through a little bit of aging. So let's have a look at what the aromatics are like. Lovely. So it's got this lovely black cherries, blackberries, uh, some dark plums coming through in terms of the fruit profile. Also very, very signature to the Rhone Valley is a, a distinct earthiness and a minerality that seems to come through on the nose. And because of the little bit of aging, you can actually feel a little meaty, savory notes also coming through on this wine, which is actually adding a lot of complexity to this wine. Let's take a sip of this wine. It's a medium bodied wine and there's, a, there's licorice and some warm spicy notes that come through like a cinnamon quality. There's a lot of earthiness. You can tell that this is a this has this lovely old world charm, very typical of uh, Syrahs that come from the Rhone Valley. Um, and there's a lovely brooding quality. I can't ignore the vivacity and the freshness of its acidity. So despite its, despite its four years of aging, there's quite a bit of freshness on the wine. And uh, in terms of tannins, they're extremely fine grained. There's lovely fruity core, but at the same time, there's also quite a bit of aging that has come through, which is vivid in its, in its savory, meaty sort of notes. So that is kind of giving a lot of complexity to the wine and it's making the wine really, really very enjoyable and fairly long on its finish. I'm already fantasizing about the kind of foods that I would enjoy with this wine. I'm thinking, you know, actually this is a wine that would go with an entire meal. You could start off the evening with this wine. I can think of pairing it with lots of lovely cheeses, both hard as well as medium textured cheeses. Uh, you could do this with uh, finger foods, a variety of finger foods. Uh, and of course, you know, even pizzas, you know, if you were just going for a casual night. In terms of mains, I'm thinking in Indian, for example, you could absolutely pair this with a curry because it really has that depth 
and that intensity and that complexity to go with an elegant, rich curry uh, which has layers of flavors in it. But at the same time, you can also think of enjoying it equally with any kind of smoked foods, smoked tandoor, uh, you know, paneer maybe, or smoked tandoor chicken, whatever, you know, anything that comes out of a clay oven would be actually wonderful because there are some lovely smoky peppery notes as well in this wine that would pair wonderfully with foods like that. So actually it's a wine that I would enjoy through the entire evening, starting right from the beginning, right to the end. One quick note though is, you know, it's not a wine that's very rich and elegant and bold. It's kind of medium body and it's stylish in a very elegant way. So I would enjoy this at 15 to 17 degrees Celsius. In terms of a personality, it kind of reminds me of a person who's equally suave, stylish, uh, but also in a very quiet and in a very elegant way. Somebody who takes time to open up, but when he does, or he should, or she does, they really know how to spice up a conversation. So somebody who is kind of seductive in a very understated, but yet a very definitive way. So that's the kind of personality I see of the Crow's Hermitage, Le Maisonier, Syrah from M. Chapotier. I hope you will go and pick up a bottle of this wine. This wine is, let me tell you the price actually. The price of this wine is 3990, so just short of 4000 rupees. So I hope you won't miss this unique opportunity to grab a bottle of this wonderful wine. And on that note, I'm going to sign off and see you next Friday with yet another amazing wine to feature for our 2020 collection. Cheers.